But before every new cancer treatment is approved, hundreds, sometimes thousands of cancer patients have to test it out in clinical trials. Carolyn Higgins is one of those patients. She signed up for her first study at Emory's Winship Cancer Institute 11 years ago. Today, she's still going strong. And the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with her story. Beth? And Tom and Sine, back when she was diagnosed, Carolyn needed kind of a cancer Hail Mary pass because she had multiple myeloma, blood cancer, and the standard chemotherapy that helped out other patients wasn't working for her. So she took on a gamble on something new, and it paid off. My hug, sir, my hug. These days, oh, Carolyn so Higgins is a regular here in the Infusion Center at Emory's Winship Cancer Institute. Wow. But back in 2007, when she first heard the words multiple myeloma, Higgins remembers thinking, no way. This isn't going to happen to me. I'm, I'm not going to let it. Higgins knew her cancer is incurable. The average survival at her stage, two to five years. But she had grandchildren that she wanted to see grow up, and cancer wasn't going to get in the way of that. So she threw herself into chemotherapy. And it did absolutely nothing. That's kind of when I got this thought that I have to do something other than what they're doing. Higgins' doctor, Sager Loniel, chair of the Emory Department of Hematology and Medical Oncology, told her they had some other standard drugs that they could try. And she didn't want to do that. She said, put me on a trial, give me something new, give me something innovative, something that's really going to make a difference. So Higgins joined a phase one clinical trial here, agreeing to be one of the first myeloma patients in the U.S. to test a then experiment treatment to harness her immune system to fight her cancer, the monoclonal antibody pamalidomide. So we didn't know, A, would it work, and B, if it did work, how long would it work? Back then, Dr. Loniel says patients joined phase one clinical trials to help other patients down the road. Only about one to two percent saw any direct benefit from the treatments they were testing. From her view, I think it's that the upsides are so much bigger that she was willing to take those risks. I think one of the things that took away the fear was it's phase one, so the drug company is watching carefully. I knew that the FDA was watching very carefully. Carolyn had no negative side effects, and for five and a half years, the drug worked. And when it stopped, she took a break and joined another clinical trial, this time a larger phase two study of a similar treatment. And here I am three and a half years later on this one. And my numbers, I just got my numbers today, they're they're holding steady. And Carolyn Higgins is now 11 years out, and she says, as strong as she ever was. I have asked Dr. Lonio if I'm cured yet. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, you're in a very good partial response. <laughs> I'll take it. I was just going to say, well, that feels like a cure to me. And Carolyn says she's never really accepted the fact that she has cancer. She says people might think that she's naive or she's childish, but she says, hey, it's working for her. And you Thomas know what? That's May. that's okay, <laughs> yeah. you know, to be naive and childish. And I love that she has braces and she's yeah, looking forward into the future. Yeah, what a sort of testimonial to life continues. And yeah. she's still pushing on. She will reach 12 years in July that's that phenomenal. she's been part of these clinical trials. This is someone who is expected to live two to five years. So... Well, we I don't know how much of it is attitude, but we she's have, doing great. That's got to be part of it. And yeah. we applaud that positivity. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you, Beth. Beth.